Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you want to design and build a beautiful website, you can do it all in one place with Squarespace. Hello there. You're back. <laughs> Looks like I've uploaded again. Hooray for me for sticking to my life <laughs> commitments. <laughs> Today we're going to be trying some more watercolor sets that I've never ever tried before. So this series is called Let's Try It. Last time I tried the $3 watercolor set from Daiso. And this time I thought I would try these watercolors from when we we're in Japan. I actually got these before the Daiso ones. I got these like how long ago, babe? Like years ago. I hope they're not a dry, crusty mess on the inside. I guess we'll see. I'll turn this on so I can show you them. Because we have two cameras. We're so fancy. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay, so this is the watercolor set we got from Japan. I don't know how to read Japanese, but on the bottle it says watercolors. I'm pretty sure I got these for like $7 or $7.99 or something like that. I think they were on sale because when I looked online, the closest thing that I could find was about $13. But it's still pretty inexpensive for a set of 12 and they're pretty big bottles. That's my first impression anyway. I'll show you what else I'll be using. Archer's 300 GSM smooth watercolor paper, which is pretty close to the watercolor paper I use for my artwork. These are by Pentel and they are watercolor. That's all it says that I can read. Pentel watercolors. <laughs> pretty good range of colors, I think. So I think I should be able to do a lot with them. And I'm really also very excited about this on the back, which kind of teaches you how to mix the colors in different ratios. So we'll see how that goes. Palette, obviously. Three brushes. I've got two round brushes. Actually, three round brushes. I don't really like have preferences when it comes to brushes. I just like the ones that feel good. I go by the fingertips, you know. I have this pencil. This is similar to the Mitsubishi two colored pencils that I bought in Japan. I found this in Singapore. It's not the same brand. It's by Tom Bao, but I'm excited to try it. It says I have to stand up, but I'm filming a video. And just a lead pencil. I'm not sure which ones I'll use. So without further ado, oh, also a jar of water because you need that. Let's get started. So this is one of my favorite parts, like inspecting the packaging. Especially the Japanese part. I know, even though I can't read anything, I feel like such an idiot. Also because I've had this for so long, I'm so excited to see what it's like. I wanna know what this is. Is this just a palette that we're supposed to have already? Or is this like nine parts green to two parts white? Cause that's what they're showing us how to mix colors essentially. I actually really love Pentel as a art material company anyway. You know that black pen I have baby? With like the brush nib? That's by Pentel, it's really good. So I'm excited to see how these moderately priced watercolors are. They're probably for children. It has like very, oh they're so cute. <gasps> things inside that I can't read, but they look cool. So it's just telling us that it has a screw cap from what I can tell from the diagrams. You can open it completely by screwing it or you can flip the top like this. Oh, I'm so excited. Look how cute. They look awesome, they? Oh, they're so cool. Yeah, they're so cool. I think I'll do some swatch tests on some scrap pieces of paper. Oh my God, they feel really cute. I don't usually like plastic packaging for watercolors, but this feels so nice. I really hope they're good because they're just so adorable. Hopefully my brushes are clean. I feel like the most Dero watercolor artist on the internet because I don't clean things properly because I'm lazy. It's white. Looks like nothing. Hopefully it'll just be a mixing color then. Good. It's not bad. I guess I'll have probably the same reaction as I did last time where it was like, it doesn't look bad and it's not, it doesn't feel that bad, but it, my question is whether it's light fast and weatherproof and all that stuff, because that's what you're really paying for with the expensive watercolors, as well as like the ease of use. Also, a lot of people last time had an issue with me saying that the last ones were good for beginners because they were inexpensive. They were definitely a little more difficult to handle, especially coming from being used to other watercolors. But people thought that was bad advice because you should use the easiest to use when you're starting out. And I was just like, um, you should use the cheapest because the work that you're creating is are all like tests and mistakes. So I think people thought I was being a little bit arrogant or something. It seems pretty smooth. What if these are my new watercolors? They're only $10. Well, hopefully not because we bought them like two years ago, so they're probably discontinued by now. No! <laughs> I don't mind these. I wonder how what the color range is like. These are my swatches. Whoop. They're pretty good, actually. I'm gonna zoom this in so we can actually see things. Is that as far as it goes? I guess so. Should I do some trinkets? Just like that. Yeah, do that. Trinkets are nice. Okay. It's raining again. Uh. 
But okay, guys, I'm sorry it's been raining all night. We're trying to like, we were trying to stagger it so that there's no rain, but there's rain. So enjoy the calming sensation of rain because people have apps for this, you know? seeing how it's blending it's pretty good so far i am surprised i really didn't know what to expect the packaging is kind of childish which i really love but it often indicates that it that it isn't a good product but right now it feels pretty good so yay yay for that <laughs> really liking the vibrancy of these watercolors. The pigment is really, really beautiful. Um, and it's also settling really well, like flattening. So, so far, so good. And so we're gonna do a sunset up here. Let's look up there and see which sunset do we love the most. That's a nice one. Oh wait, we love them all. <laughs> oh wait, they're all amazing. <laughs> like me help but put a scalp in the frame when it's so beautiful. I love painting. I'm lucky that I get to do what I love every day. I bet Bento's thinking about me. I bet he's like, I miss Sean. No freaking way. He doesn't even like you that much. Again, far out Brussels sprout. One thing I'll say about these watercolors is that it, they're kind of hard to rework. Like say you made a mistake or there's too much pigment in one place and it dries, it's hard to actually bring it up again. But I mean, that's not a terribly bad thing. It's just depends on how you work. <laughs> Pentel was gonna be a good brand when I already have Pentel products that are really good. I guess it was the price point. Does that mean I'm a snob? 
Do people still do like courtroom sketches of people? I want to do that. How do you get a job like that? The final result. I really, really like these watercolors. I'm really surprised. I didn't think I would like them this much. I already thought they were cute when I saw them, which is why I bought them, and I thought they were cute when I opened them. But I was suspicious that that meant that they were sh. But yeah, I really, really like them. I'm not a super huge fan of the colors that get given to you within the set, so I'm interested to see if they sell them separately. And if they do, I'm gonna definitely get some more. I would definitely recommend these. If you're starting out, they are really easy to work with and they're inexpensive. And I think those are the two things that you look for, or at least that's what I looked for when I was starting out. Less so the easy to work with thing, more so the cheap thing. But yeah, I really, really like these. I love the way they look. I love the price point. And I definitely recommend you try them if you come across them. Very cute, very fun to work with, easy to work with, very vibrant colors. Not sure about how color fast they are. I guess you'll see if you get them. I just wanna say thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video once again. I really, really appreciate the support. And if you guys wanna support me, the best thing to do is support my sponsors because they allow me to create videos and make time to do that. Squarespace is a website building platform which basically allows you to make your own online space for whatever you do, whether it be your business, whether it be your passion project, whether it just be you. I've seen people do stuff for their weddings, which is really cool. Um, and they have a range of templates that make it super, super easy, very easily customizable as well. So I definitely recommend them to you guys. I've been using them forever. You've heard me say that a million times, but I love them so much. And I love them even more for supporting my channel. So if you want a two week free trial, go to squarespace.com slash furry little peach and you'll also get a 10% discount on your first purchase. So thank you, Squarespace. Thank you guys for watching. And I hope you liked my cute little, little paint. I'll definitely be using this again. Probably maybe I'll do some more painting videos or something. Sorry for the smacking. Lip smacking schmacks. Hey, what is with the smacking? I have a fireball in my mouth. Ah, yeah, yeah. I when I'm nervous and I speak, I go... <sniffs> I did a reading video for my publisher and throughout the whole thing, I was just like... <sniffs> I don't know what it is. Like when I speak and I'm like either excited or nervous about doing something, my mouth must get really dry and then I go... <sniffs> and swallow and they go... <sniffs> I don't know what it is. It's so embarrassing. That's way better than like... My mouth gets really like, <laughs> like salivary. Ew. So I end up just not even like my my brain isn't there because all i can think about is making sure that i don't spit all over everyone or draw. <laughs> <laughs> do you reckon you should finish your lolly <laughs>